Good evening. I'd like to call the November Hamilton Board of Education meeting to order. The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend any meetings of public bodies at which their interests may be discussed or may be discussed or acted upon. <clears throat> In accordance with the provisions of this act, the Hamilton Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published by having the date time, purpose, and place therefore published in the Hamilton Gazette on January 9, 2019 and mailed to the Press of Atlantic City and the Hamilton News and posted on all authorized premises. Roll call, please. Mr. Atanasi? Here. Mrs. Bernardo? Here. Mrs. Burns? Here. Mrs. Fallon? Here. Mr. Lyons? Here. Mr. Pangia? He's excused for work this evening. Mrs. Polito? Here. Mr. Kalea? Here. Mr. Scipio? Here. Mr. Thomas? Absent, Mr. Mento. Here. Let us rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Presentations. Tonight we have uh, Dr. Mike Nolan, principal of the middle school. He's going to come up and talk about some of the good things happening uh, at the middle school. And as you can see before us, we have the uh, middle school chorus and band. And uh, we also have some uh, tremendous athletes in the house this evening, and we're going to acknowledge a uh, fantastic uh, season. Time is yours, Mr. Nolan. All right. Uh, well, thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. And uh, thank you, the Board of Education, for having us today. Um, I think you're in for an interesting treat here today, so I'm pretty excited about tonight. So, good evening. Um, each of the four groups of students that I'm going to present to you um, have made a decision and dedicated their efforts this year to furthering their abilities in one area or another. Although there are amazing things happening at Hamilton Middle School that I could speak about, um, I chose to present about these four due to the support that the Board of Education and the District Administration has shown for these four areas. I'd like to first thank first start by thanking the Board of Education, Ms. Kieko, Ms. Leonard, and Mr. Martinez for believing and trusting our vision for these school improvement projects. Starting this year, the eighth grade class had a chance to take, or had a choice, excuse me, to take one of four options for their cycle classes. Uh, the students had a choice to take Accelerated Spanish One, Band One, or Chorus One. Each of these offerings are full year electives. The fourth choice was to take a variety of classes of all four cycles that's traditionally offered to our students. Here they would take Spanish, STEAM, Digital Arts, and Digital Cinema, each for a marking period. 12 students chose to take Band 1, 35 students chose to take Chorus 1, and 13 students chose to take Accelerated Spanish 1. Over the summer, our teachers wrote curriculum, and the students have been busy at working to further their talents in fine arts or foreign language. As a school and community, we value students who learn and develop multiple languages. The students in Mr. Ayer's classes are getting a head start with their foreign language, and if they do well this year, they will be on pace to take Spanish 2 at Hamilton High School next year. Mr. Ayer's accelerated Spanish classes have been working on a project involving the weather, and his instruction is at approximately 80% in Spanish. We're looking forward to seeing the students and seeing how they do on the final exam from the Hamilton High School Spanish One classes. The school and community, as a school and community, we also value the fine and performing arts. Each year, the middle school band program seems to grow and evolve. This year, we have our first ever eighth grade band. This class is comprised of 12 students who are building on their skills that they've learned and developed at Warren E. Soy and at Waterford Elementary School. They've advanced it here at Hamilton Middle School. They presented earlier this week at the Tri-Vets Veterans Day celebration, and they are preparing for their winter concert. They are led by Mrs. Daniels, and tonight they will be playing a song for us entitled Toboggan Run.
All right, thank you, Ms. Daniels. The students, well done, very good. Um, it has been years since we were able to offer a chorus program at Hamilton Middle School that has grown uh, now to over 250 students. Of those 250 students, 35 of those eighth grade students have dedicated their time to our chorus program and they've selected eighth grade chorus as their elective. They're in great hands with our very own Hamilton Middle School and Hamilton High School alumni, Ms. Cochran, and this newly revived program is thriving. They too are working towards the winter concert and something I am extremely excited about is that you'll be able to see our Hamilton Middle School singers on the Art Museum steps at the Channel 6 uh, ABC Thanksgiving Parade Day. Parade Day. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Parade. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Sorry about that. Woo. Uh, and they're here tonight to perform two numbers. The first number is Bella Mama, and the second number is a Latin song, and I cannot and I will not attempt to pronounce that today, so come on down, guys. All right, we'd like to take a moment to wish all of our singers and musicians best of luck, as some of them will try out for our All, for all South Jersey Chorus and All South Jersey Band soon. They will also perform at the Tree Link Ceremony and our uh, winter, uh, excuse me, our fall cabaret, which is coming up soon. Ms. Cocker and Ms. Daniels, thank you for your efforts. I'm inspired every day by your energy and your enthusiasm. Finally, I'd like to recognize our Hamilton Middle School field hockey team. Right, come on up, girls. Come on up. Okay, girls, let's go. Why are we on? <laughs>
there's an awful lot of them. Uh, the Hamilton Middle School field hockey team has completed another undefeated season, making it three seasons in a row. If that wasn't enough, these girls have actually only allowed one goal in three years. Official championship, we would like to recognize Coach Silvesti and Coach Olive and the Hamilton Middle School girls field hockey team for their dedication, sportsmanship, and their success. We would also like to present the girls with their very own commemorative three peat t shirts. Let these t shirts be a symbol of not only your success, but more importantly, the journey that led you to where you are. In athletics, there's an old saying that says, uh, you win games long before you step on the field. So girls, congratulations. May you continue to work hard and have success for years to come. Congratulations. Mr. Thank President, you. if I can real quick. Uh, oh, I'd hang like on, thank girls. You. Oh, hang on, to, girls. For these girls, uh, they put their heart and soul into it. I'd like to thank them. I'd like to thank the parents, the coaches especially. Uh, I know we threw some hurdles at you girls this year, and uh, we got through it. You prevailed, and I really look forward to seeing your efforts next year helping our high school field hockey team. So keep yes. with it, and let's keep going. Good luck into the future. Okay, all right, hot off the presses here. Uh, Coach Gazzara tells me that there has been, over the three years, there's been 29 wins. 29 wins? There has been... 134 goals scored and one goal against. That's pretty Not impressive, girls. Good work. Congratulations, Not girls. Too bad. <laughs> Thank you, girls. All right, and as always, we would like to thank the Board of Education for the support and the endeavors, both in philosophy and financially. Um, I may be a week or two early, but uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and uh, good night. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for coming out this evening. Uh, we will take a, a brief recess before we get to the business end of the meeting, let you guys get out of here. But before you leave, I do want to give one part of my update that I think uh, might interest you. Uh, it was brought to our attention lately that our meetings haven't been televised. Uh, what had happened was we were providing the town with the, the film, but it was unable to work, it was incompatible with Channel 9. So starting with this meeting, uh, we don't have the capability to live stream, but just like our morning announcements that are running on YouTube, you can go ahead and watch this meeting on the Hamilton YouTube channel, probably starting tomorrow afternoon. So with that, I will uh, take a two minute recess. And again, thank you to all the parents, athletes, and students for coming out this evening. I'd like to reconvene the meeting. Okay, now we will uh, move into committee reports. Uh, just quickly, like I had said earlier, we're very happy to say that uh, our meetings will be once again televised, uh, streaming on our YouTube uh, channel here from the Hamilton High School, along with our morning announcements that people can check uh, daily in the afternoon and see what's happening. Um, we're currently working on the calendar for next year. Uh, it's a little different year with Labor Day being very late and how Veterans Day falls. So we're trying to work out, you know, and find a happy medium with starting school at the right time and, and getting our kids at, out at the right time as well. And while I'm talking about the calendar, I just wanted to talk about last week, our family week. 
you know, I've heard many people have enjoyed it and some people had questioned the reason for us, you know, not having school for a week. And what, what I want to let everyone know, for most of you might not realize this, contractually, we are obligated to give our faculty, our 12-month employees, four days off in a 10-day period. So our superintendent, administrators, and, and board members here, <clears throat> for the last three years, we felt we were losing continuity, uh, having a two-day week, then a three-day week, then another day off. So we felt for absenteeism and for a continuity, the continuity, we would just take the straight week off and put it all together. So, you know, nothing's written in stone, so don't book your vacations just yet for next year, but uh, we are looking into the, that week again, and we're going to weigh all our options and make the best decision for what we think is uh, best for the children here at the school. Uh, another big event that's coming up that's in our agenda this evening is that uh, the Hamilton School District will re be returning to the Cape Atlantic League. I think it's been about five years since we've been out and as most of you know we were a charter member in there for some 80 years. Uh, it was a different situation when we left the league now with the formation of the West Jersey Football League. Um, we think it's a better place for us. It's a place where we truly belong and uh, we're happy to be back in the Cape uh, starting June of 2021. Um, again, I want to congratulate. Oh, yeah, sorry, summer of 2020. Um, I'd like to congratulate uh, all our fall athletes. Um, the field hockey team made, have had a win, and along with the girls' soccer team, had a win in the playoffs. And as everyone knows, we have a big game at home for our uh, Blue Devils, who are on a nice little run right now. So, hope to see everyone out this uh, Friday night and support. Uh, the Hamilton Blue Devils, go Big Blue. And quickly from buildings and grounds, um, we, we went over a couple things. We have some improvements going on over the winter break. And uh, we'll continue to look at our maintenance and our three-year comprehensive plan and continue to make a budget to move forward and keep our school in, in nice shape. That concludes my report. And uh, now I'll go over, as always, to Mrs. Berenato from Finance. Finance Committee met. We are um, ready for a preliminary, preliminary design for the girls' field house, uh, maintenance transportation office, which is in, we desperately need something like that. We're also doing a barn garage, which will just um, have no windows. It's just basically for storage. The, um, excuse me, the audit for is complete, but it is not here. Yeah, it will, probably, it will be here next month. And we are beginning the preliminary budget. We're asking staff and administration to put in their wish list and see where, where that goes. And that's it um, for the Finance Committee. I think, just a side note, um, unfortunately we have to send our prayers and thoughts out again um, to the school in California. Unfortunately, there was another horrible incident there and you know, I just, I just don't know what the answer is. It seems a lot of people don't know what the answer is, but our thoughts and prayers go out to them. It's, it's just, I can't imagine, you know, it's just so disheartening. And it seems like our whole, you know, I don't wanna go on a tangent, but it just seems like our whole United States is in this chaotic state. So with Thanksgiving coming up, I just wish everyone a good Thanksgiving. Relax, be thankful for what you have, and help someone else out. Be thankful for everything. That's all I have, thank you. Mr. Lyons from Fitness and uh, Welfare of the District. Nothing. Mr. Player, Safety Committee. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we have some good news from the Safety Committee. Uh, many people got the phone call last night or it was in the paper last week, but uh, we're having a very important meeting here at the school. We're having Mr. Jeffrey Gale, the director of the New Jersey the, DOE, Office of Homeland Security and Preparation, will be providing important information regarding legal requirements of security girls, security drills, threat assessments, and the role of parents in terms of school safety. This will be followed by a question and answer session, so this is where the parents can come out and ask questions if they have any questions about the safety of their students in the building. Uh, that meeting is November 18th uh, at 7 p.m. at the grade here at the high school in the Performing Arts Center. I'd like to encourage all the parents to come out. It's a very informative meeting, and he's going to do a very nice job, and it, it should be very informative. 
Uh, that's all I have from the safety committee. Thank you very much. I, I did get a text after our recess. I, I, I didn't say enough about the girls' middle school field hockey team, so I'd like to congratulate them once again for having three un undefeated seasons with only one goal being scored, and I look forward to seeing them play on our new turf fields next year. That's Thank it. You. That's a very proud father right there. Thank you, Mr. Clay. <laughs> oh, it's a friend. It's a friend father. <laughs> which is a well-behaved father. <laughs> okay, Mr. Scipione, uh, community relations, please. Thank you, Senator. Uh, congratulations to Nina Scafidi, grade three, Chase Emmel, grade five, and Carly Caldwell, grade 10, for winning the annual Halloween writing contest sponsored by the Press of Atlantic City. Over 800 submissions were received, and three out of the 10 winners were Hamilton students. Uh, once again, I think I mentioned last month, the Hamilton High School Marching Band has had another very successful season. They earned first place in the Tournament of Bands, Region 1 Chapter Championships out of 13 bands, and also earned second place in the Tournament of Bands, Atlantic Coast Championships out of 24 bands. Congratulations on all your accomplishments. The Hamilton High School Chorus will be performing at the Thanksgiving Day Parade in Philadelphia on November 28th. On November 22nd from 7 to 9 p.m., the Hamilton Middle School Drama Club will be presenting a cabaret night in the auditorium. The Hamilton Education Foundation is hosting a bagging event at the Hamilton ShopRite on Sunday, November 24th to raise funds for their annual grants to our schools. A parent program entitled Raising Resilient Teens will be presented on December 3rd 2019 at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center at Hamilton High School. This program is part of the Lifelines Suicide Prevention Program that has been adopted for this school year. Parents of students in grades 6 through 12 are encouraged to attend as life-saving information will be shared. Our fall athletic calendar is coming to an end. Many teams have done, done extremely well. <clears throat> See, it took a little, a little while, but you got me. Coach Mike DiStefano did an amazing job coaching our first girls volleyball team and getting the program up and running. We had over 50 girls try out for the inaugural season, and the excitement among the players and fans made the high school gym come alive during competition. Head coach Michelle Woloski continued. <coughs> Bless you. Pardon me. Sorry about that. That's fine. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Start over, right? Sam, Sam, I'm going to start over. First the earth cooled. Sorry, yeah. First the earth cooled. No. Um, I yield my five minutes. All right, yes. Head coach Michelle Lasky continued to lead her team as the girls' cross country team placed third at the Atlantic County Championships with two individuals placing in the top 20 Ashley Valentino and Kristen Reese. Head coach Jim Razzo led his team to a conference championship, winning all conference games this season. The Blue Devil football team is the number one seed in the NJSIAA Central Division Group 4, currently in the hunt for a sectional and state championship. The Blue Devils won their first round game versus Brick Township and faced Middletown South on Friday, November 15th, and that is in the Central Jersey Group 4 semifinal action. Parents are reminded that all schools will have an early dismissal on November 27th for Thanksgiving break. And I'd like to wish Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Shippey. Is that long that, enough for you? For that no, very I thorough I have more, but I report. Parents just Thank you. Just a real quick thing. If anybody wants Let's to school. see or read the um, story endings and the stories, I have the paper. If Thank you didn't you. get a chance to see it. Quite good. Okay. okay. Mrs. Burns from okay. Curriculum. Yeah. First, I'd like to thank the middle school band and chorus for the lovely performance tonight. It's good to see the arts have been extended down to the middle school like that. It's taking off. Um, also, the girls field hockey team, it does my heart good to see that. Um, the curriculum committee met, and it was on October 30th, where it was discussed by Mrs. Kecko and Ms. Leonard that we will be 
um, improving how we use federal funds through transitioning from the targeted assisted school to a school-wide programming for Title I. Many items are on our agenda tonight were also discussed at that meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Burns. Ms. Polito, I know you have a very exciting report this evening from the TREE Committee. Uh, the TREE Committee uh, met on October 24th, and we are working on some uh, really attractive signage for a um, couple different areas. One of the areas is a larger sign on the road to excellence, um, showing people different district locations and um, giving directions to where uh, many of the athletic fields are. Um, and we also um, are working on smaller signage for those items. And we're also working on um, with uh, uh, Mrs. Kiecko and Mr. Toothman, are gonna, uh, the art club advisor, is going to be working with his students to create a beautiful Blue Devil mural for the side of the building. So um, students will be uh, able to submit their work and come up with different ideas for the mural that we'll be able to put on the outside of the school. So we're pretty excited about those two things. That's all. Thank you for that very thorough report. Thank you. Mr. Antonucci. No report, Mr. President. Thank you, sir. And finally, Ms. Fallon from <laughs> negotiations. No report for contract negotiations. I want to thank Mr. Nolan for presenting tonight and highlighting our very talented middle school musicians and our stellar athletes. And happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Okay, I know Ms. Kiecko has a uh, report to read. I just want to do a brief follow-up to uh, Mr. Palia's report that the health and safety of our students and staff is always our first priority as a district. I'd like to highlight several areas that encompass the school safety and security umbrella. Uh, fire, lockdown, and evacuation drills are done yearly. Bus evacuations that are included on this evening's agenda. Um, and the traffic study that was completed and that we're still working on. Um, upgraded cameras and the infrastructure to support those. Our memorandum of agreement with our law enforcement agencies. The school uh, resource officers that the, uh, we pay for it when we work with the town on those as well plus our mental health resources. Uh, this year we hired an additional social emotional counselor. We have a student assistance counselor. We have the Lifeline Suicide Prevention Program and the social emotional uh, component that's part of our new reading program at our elementary schools. So I encourage all parents to attend our upcoming meetings on school safety and teen resilience as shared by Mr. Palia and Mr. Shippey Young. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kiko. Okay, we'll now move to the business end of the meeting. Excuse me? Oh, public comment. If there's anyone from the com uh, public wishing to be heard, now is your opportunity. First of two opportunities to come before the board. <laughs> Seeing no one here now, I'll, I'll close the first portion of the uh, public comment. And now we will move to finance items 1 through 44. Is there a motion, please? Motion. Mr. Lyons, is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mrs. Burns. Discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Antonassi? Yes. Mrs. Bernardo? Yes. Mrs. Burns? Yes. Mrs. Fallon? Yes. Mr. Lyons? Yes. Mrs. Polito? Yes. Mr. Palea? Yes. Mr. Scipione? Yes. Mr. Mento? Yes. Motions carry. We'll now take personnel items 45 through 73. Is there a motion, please? Motion. motion. Mrs. Fallon, seconded by Mr. Antonassi. Discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Antonassi? Yes. Mrs. Bernardo? Yes. Mrs. Burns? Yes. Mrs. Fallon? Yes. Mr. Lyons? Yes. Mrs. Polito? Yes. Mr. Palea? Yes. Mr. Scipio? Yes. Mr. Mento? Yes. Motions carry. We'll now take program students and miscellaneous items 74 through 85. Is there a motion, please? Motion. Mrs. Polito, is there a second? Second. Mrs. Burns? Discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Antonassi? Yes. Mrs. Bernardo? Yes. Mrs. Burns? Yes. Mrs. Fallon? Yes. Mr. Lyons? Yes. Mrs. Polito? Yes. Mr. Palea? Yes. Mr. Shipio? Yes. Mr. Minton? Yes. Motions carry. This is the second opportunity for anyone in the public wishing to be heard to come before the board. Again, seeing no one, we will close the second portion of the public comment. And I will uh, entertain the uh, final motion of the evening. Motion to adjourn, please. Motion. Mr. Antonassi, is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Plea. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Have a safe Thanksgiving. Meeting adjourned. I'd like thank to thank you.